Before we start this thing, I gotta admit, I was duped. I thought I was buying a six pack, but this lunchbox tin only held a four pack of 500 milliliter beers. I guess it's not their fault that I can't read. But as a tool maker, I mean, I get how much work goes into something like this, even though I'm gonna throw it away immediately. But you gotta respect the hustle. Cue the intro. What's up everybody, I'm CPS Dave and welcome to another edition of the 60 Minute Six Pack. I like to keep things pretty simple. This is a beer review where I drink some beer and then I tell you about it. Now before we start, this video is sponsored by RepCPS.com, the home of my own personal line of party apparel. For this week only, you can get all of your Christmas shopping done with a build your own six pack. Just log on to RepCPS.com, pick out six different snapbacks, six or more, Enter the code six pack at checkout and save 40%. It's a pretty good savings. You get all your Christmas shopping done in one shop. That's S I X P A C K at checkout to save yourself 40% on snapbacks at repcps.com. All right, now that I got the ads done, we can get underway with this. We are drinking Pilsner or Quell. Or Quell. It's kind of a hard one to pronounce. I had some notes written down on it. This is made in the Czech Republic. And I had some notes written down on it, but I'm just going to read the can because it's better than the notes I came up with anyways. So it's always golden. The Pilsner or Quell name is the celebration of the first golden beer ever brewed. Named Pilsner after Pilsen, the city we've brewed beer in since 1842, and or Quell meaning original source. What you need to know out of that is it doesn't get more OG than this beer right here. In fact, a lot of the most famous American breweries were founded by Czech and German immigrants. So let's not waste any more time. Let's drink this beer. Cheers. Mmm. <sighs> I like that. It's going to be good. Now, when I walked into the liquor store today, I didn't know what I was going to be bringing home. Honestly, I thought that tin there was going to be a six-pack, but if you do the math, this four-pack is only like four ounces less than a six-pack would be, so pint pint. I was excited that it's a Pilsner because a Pilsner is my favorite style of beer. I always say American lager, but American lagers are actually a Pilsner-style brewed beer, and I love them, so I was excited about this. I don't know a lot about beer, and so when I do these beer reviews, I do some research, read up on it, and learn what I can about what I'm presenting. Cheers. That is tasty. It's got kind of some spicy notes, but not like hot spicy. It's a little bit hard to explain. It's a little bit Hefeweizen flavor in there. Now, Pilsner is just a lager brewed in the Pilsner style. So, if you like Budweiser, Miller, Coors, Bush, PBR, Blatz, Old Style, Red Dog, that's what you're drinking. Although, this is the granddaddy of them all, so it isn't quite comparable to those. These, this is full of flavor, unlike American lagers, Pilsner style lagers. Um, but... I think you would like it. It's not strained too far. And of course, you know, it is the OG. So I was reading the third as I was drinking it, and I came to realize that all four cans have a different little message on here, and I kind of like this one. Pilsner Urquell has been brewed in the same brewery in Pilsen in the same way, using the same Czech ingredients since 1842. Well, cheers to not fucking with tradition. (sighs) 
Mm-mm. All right, I'm down to the last swig here. Even though this is a Pilsner, they are very full of flavor. It kind of reminds me of a Hefeweizen, but I guess I need a side-by-side -side comparison to really know. But I recommend trying it. I really enjoyed it. And now it's time for me to edit this video all together.